Your band prepared an encore, but no one has ever requested it. The amount of time you spent fishing picks out of your acoustic guitar is getting a little ridiculous. You thought it would be cool to invite some girls on stage to dance. It was until one of them knocked your second guitar off its stand. You used to think that an album is finished when you're satisfied with it. Turns out an album is finished when the money runs out. You finally got good enough at guitar to realize you're not that good at guitar. There's a broken connection somewhere in the rat's nest that is your pedal board. Gonna be fun trying to find that. You spent a lot on a photographer for your last gig, but none of the shots turned out well enough to be your new Facebook profile pic. All the guitarists you follow on Instagram simultaneously inspire you deeply, but also make you feel like you never want to pick up your guitar again. You showed up at band practice only to find your mic missing. There's a chance your band isn't as fond of your backup vocals as you thought. You lost faith in humanity the day you saw Floyd Rose drilled into a vintage Les Paul. No one seems all that impressed by the Floyd Rose mod you did on your vintage Les Paul. You picked up your guitar case without closing the latches, and it's not the first time that's happened. You thought that seven beers before a gig was the sweet spot. Turns out it's more like two. You watch one instructional video on YouTube and now you keep getting recommended videos by the same man bun idiot. You've got a sneaking suspicion your guitar doesn't so much gently weep as it cries painfully to be put out of its horrid misery. You got a tattoo of your favorite band at 18. At 31, they are definitely no longer your favorite band. Neck problems from headbanging are a real and serious issue when you hit your 30s. You've got a shelf full of expensive instructional books you opened once and never looked at again. Your ex is dating another guitar player who is undeniably a better musician than you are. You've made sure you played a complex looking chord in every photo shoot you've ever done, except once when you played an open C. And that's the one that became the album cover. You sold all your boss guitar pedals and paid a lot to upgrade to boutique ones. You can't hear any difference. Thank you all for watching. If one of your problems is you don't have enough cool looking guitar related clothing, then good news for you, my friend. This traditional guitar playing samurai t-shirt is available at shopsamuraiguitarist.com or you can hit that link over there. There are a variety of styles and colors. It's the first merch line I've ever done, so I'm doing it for a limited run to see how it goes. Get them while you can. Shout out to the Letterkenny TV show and YouTube series, which obviously inspired this video. Thank you all again for watching. I'm Samurai Guitarist, and I will see you again soon.